In this question, we will use complementary and supplementary theorems to solve angles. We have been told here to find the measure of angle phi. You can see this is the measure of angle phi. But they have also told measure of angle phi is equal to measure of angle 6. And this is 90 degrees. So we, when you look into this line, when you add up all this, this must be 180, isn't it? Supplementary angle theorem is used here. We can easily understand it's not vertical. Vertical angles is opposite angles. Not that. It is supplementary angle theorem. But what's the angle exactly? This is 90 and these both are equal. So if I consider this as x and x, so it's just going to be x plus 90 plus x that is equal to 180 degrees. You can just put this in the calculator as equation format and get the answer as well. Or you can do it by 2x equals 90 and solve it up. I'll show you in calculate how you can directly solve it. Here, you can put this x as alpha and closing bracket symbol. That'll be x plus 90 plus x equals, equals as alpha and calc 180. You can see there is only one variable unknown. x is the only thing that's unknown. If it's one variable, you can use this unknown variable x. And then if you press equal to, you'll not get the answer you need to press shift and then you need to press solve and here we go and th this is not the correct answer it's a previous store answer when you press equal to this is the correct answer so that's the value of x so it's 45 degree and supplementary angle theorem option b what about this one here they have told us angle 2 we need to find angle 2 and 2 and 4 you can see this angle 2 and 4 are supplementary and four angle four is 105 degrees okay this is 105 and this is supplementary so we need to find angle two when we add these two angle two plus angle four what must be the total angle 180 why because it's supplementary angle theorem so here it should be either this or this but what is the actual angle it will be it's not 90 why because over here they have told 105 that's equal to 180 and this is what we are solving for i'll just take it as x so it'll be 180 minus 105 that's going to be 80 75 75 degrees is the correct answer that's supplementary angle theorem and 75 degrees option c is the correct one let's look into the other problems here they have told us to find the measure of angle 3 and measure of angle 1 is given and this is 90 degree now I'll solve them directly. Now over here, please remember, they have not told it's supplementary or anything. They have given us ABC. This total opening is 131 degrees. So let me write this out. The total one is 131 degrees. Measure of angle one is 23. This is 90. So all you need to do is 23 degrees plus 90 degrees plus the unknown angle C which we are solving will be equal to 131. Put this in the calculator, you'll get it. Or 131 minus 90 minus 23 would be the answer. Please try to solve it by yourself and then look into the steps here. That's known. And now that's the angle addition postulate. By substitution, we get the angle. Answer is 30, 18 degrees. That's the measure of angle 3. Here we have, see now looking at this, I feel this is vertical angles. The answer will be that theorem we'll be using, vertical opposite angle theorem. Now 6 is given, 7 is given. What we need to do is we need to find the x, we need to find the measure. So first, 2x minus 21, sorry for that 2. It's 3x minus 34. You can see these two are a linear pair. So when you add them up, they must be 180 degrees, isn't it? So 2x minus 21, that is equal, sorry, plus 3x minus 34 will be equal to 180 degrees. I'm not going to solve this. I'm directly going to show you in the calculator how to find x. All you do is type 2x, that is alpha, x minus 21 plus 3x minus 34 equals to 180 degrees shift and solve and now the answer is 47 degrees so we know x is 47 degrees so what is this angle six 
So it'll be two times. Let's go back to two times. We got 47 degrees for X, isn't it? Minus 21. The answer is 73 degrees. And measure of angle 8 is also 73 degrees. Why? Because they're vertically opposite angles. So that's 73. This is 73. What is the other one? That will be 180 minus 73. So here you can see all the angles. Measure of angle 8 is 73 degrees. 6 and 8 are vertical angles. And what about x? x was 47 degrees. From this, we can easily solve 6 and 7. 7 is 107. So here we go. What about these? These are again supplementary angles, isn't it? It's all 180 degrees. So you can see this and this are equal. 5 and 6 are equal. This is 90 degrees. Just put in the calculator, you'll get the answer. Now, I would ask you to solve the remaining problems by yourselves. They are the same concept. You, I'll just, you can just pause the videos over here and then look into the answers. Here we have one. We need to find the measure of all the measure angles over here. But they have told us one and four are equal and two is 28 degrees. And then... 2 and 3 are complementary. Complementary means they're 90 degrees. So this is 90 degree. We know 1 and 4 is equal. So there are various ways to solve. See, one of the ways would be this is 90 degrees. We know 1 and 4. It will be x and x. So we can first find x because the total thing will be 180 degrees. So this is going to be 45 degrees. 1 and this is also 45 degrees. Now we know this is 28. So 90 minus 28 would be the measure of angle. 3, 90 minus 28 is 30, 60, 62. So, yes, over here, 62 and 45. What about these ones? We had done the similar, we had done at the beginning with the choices. Here we have the steps here. Now look into what is given. They have told 2 and 4 and 4 and 5 are supplementary. That means what's remaining there? So this is what's remaining, right? 3, that is what we need to solve. But we know these 2 and 4 are supplementary. So when you add them up, 2 plus 4, that must be 180. And they have told measure of angle 4 is 105. So this 105 is equal to 180 degrees. And then measure of 2 is remaining. Take it to the other side, you solve it up. That will be measure, uh, that will be 75 degrees. So angle 2 is 75 and if angle 2 is 75, then when you this also will be 75 because it'll be 180 minus this. So that's how we can uh, we can see the steps. And over here, which theorems do we use? We use supplementary theorem, supplementary angle theorem. 9 and 10. Now, this is a linear pair. That means when you add them up, it's going to be 180 degrees, isn't it? When you add them up, it's a straight line. So this plus this will be equal to 180 degree. You can use your calculator and solve it up. You find the x and then substitute over here, you get the angles, very simply. And the last problem of this topic is measure of angle three and measure of angle four. How do you solve this? They're vertically opposite angles. So it will be two x plus 23. That will be equal to five x negative 112. You can just put this directly in the calculator and solve, or if you want, you can do it manually as well. Let's take the leave the 5x over here by because that is bigger. The minus 2x this goes, and this number is moved to the other side. It'll be 112 plus 23. Minus becomes plus. So over here we have 135 that is equal to 3x. So now you need to divide it's gonna be 50, 45, I believe. 45 is equal to x. So once you know the x, substitute back and then you'll get the answer. So this is how we can solve it and it's from vertical angles theorem. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.